King's Court. What's up, America? You already know, um, this your boy, you know what I'm saying? King's Court boy, you know, uh, G Skrill. I mean, I know normally I be kind of just, you know what I'm saying, upbeat and whatever, but, uh, you know, I feel like I lost, or should I say, us as a people lost one of the greatest entertainers to ever grace the stage or the silver screen, you know what I mean? I mean, you know, Mike Jackson, man, you know, where, where, where do you begin? He died at 50, you know what I'm saying? But he lived in this music thing and balled out, you know what I'm saying, for like 42 years at least, because I think he got in around about eight, you know what I mean? And uh, it's just like, wow, you know, God take all the, all the, all the people with the good hearts, you know what I'm saying? And as far as we learning now, most of us, he is one of the last few that we going to have. I guess the last one is left is Princess Stevie, you know what I mean? All the trials and tribulations that he endured throughout his life, throughout his career, at the end of his career, which his career never ended really, but... Pretty much, you get where I'm going, just all the negativity, you know? And then, like, I see now all these people showing all this love and all this, but I'm wondering, where was the love when he was getting accused, you know what I'm saying? Them them, them times of all that stuff, and he was persecuted and, and, and done wrong and forced to have to even leave this country because the man couldn't even share the kid inside of him with the world. We didn't understand that. We looked at it as weird because most of us wasn't kids getting million dollars and things of this nature and things like that. You know what I'm saying? Most of us have had to go through school, go through college, live a whole totally normal, born, regular life. You know? So we crucify him for being rich, thinking he could get away with everything when really he wasn't. You know, he was just trying to live out his his feelings, his dreams his ambitions with those that didn't look at him like that, you know what I'm saying? With those that didn't, you know what I'm saying, persecute him with the true innocence, you know? My whole thing is, is I don't see how a doctor or whoever, you know what I'm saying, didn't know that he shouldn't be having all these com combinations of different things. We don't know yet, the autopsy ain't dropped. But I just don't see it. I just don't see it. I mean, we done kept some of the most fucked up people with the most fucked up symptoms alive. But you know what I'm saying? A guy like Mike, for some odd reason, we can't keep him alive. You know what I mean? I'm just saying. It, it, it's, 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 it's very retrospective. But at the same time, I feel like Mike gave a lot. Mike gave his all, you know what I'm saying, to help this this whole music industry out, man. Especially if you're a black motherfucker out here trying to be an entertainer. Mike helped us, you know. James opened it. Mike helped us, you know. If you're a dancing motherfucker doing this soldier boy and all that other kind of bull crap, you know what I mean? Mike put you there, you know what I'm saying? Mike, Mike, Mike was when you were six trying to moonwalk in your Sunday shoes, you know what I'm saying? All those different types of things, you know. But, I mean, I'm just sitting here and I'm looking at this. And I'm looking at this constant coverage and this, this constant everything else, man. And it just ain't what it is, man. Just ain't, it ain't real to me, man. You know, the king of pop. Damn the king of pop. The king of entertainment. You know what I'm saying? Shit. You know, I mean, damn, I'm not going to call him the king of pop. He was the king of entertainment. You know, he always, you know what I'm saying, gave you a great performance. He always shocked the crowd. He always shut it down. You know, it, was, it wasn't, it, it, it's none that come next to him. I mean, he was one of the last true people that had a good heart. Because I'm going to be real with you. I'm like the rest of us in America. I don't give a fuck about your kids. I'm going to keep it real with you. I'm not going to, you know what I'm saying, invite them over my house. If they sick and in the hospital, I'm really not going to have time to visit them because we focused on money and our own lives because we selfish folks like Americans are. 
You know? So, to all y'all that crucified him and whatever and whatever, whatnot, it don't even matter now. He in a better place, a way better place. You know what I'm saying? And you still shucking this shithole with the rest of us, you know? So, oh yeah, one more thing. If any of y'all start making all these Michael Jackson's remakes because he dead, dog, I swear to God, man, I'm gonna come to your show and I'm shoot your shit up, man. Fuck this shit, man. It gotta draw a line of some kind of respect in this world, man. We gotta have some kind of morals. We gotta have, you know what I mean, just some kind of dignity and respect for that man. You know? I mean, shit. It, you know, y'all wasn't sampling him up when he was alive. Why wait till he died, man? And then now you gonna run out of all oh, Michael this, all oh, Michael that. When I stood behind the man 100%, I always said he never did it. But you let the media and those who was wicked, you know what I'm saying, put those images and thoughts in your head, all those fake statements and all this crap that they, they later retract. Come on, man. Shit. The nigga really did something. Nigga be locked up. I don't give a fuck how much money you got. We don't keep pedophiles on the street. If that's the case, what do you say about your own court system? You know what I'm saying? What you say about your own government, your judges and your DAs and your lawyers? Y'all elect them. Shit. Shit. I let them. You know? Real talk, man. Real talk, man. My heart with, with his mother, with his sisters, with his brothers. Because them the ones that's truly going to miss him. Not us that's going to miss him as fans, but the people that's going to miss him as a brother, as an uncle, as a dad. His kids, man. Come on, man. Y'all, man, get your heads out your ass. You know? This is this is just real talk, man. We love you, Mike. King's Court Entertainment. I've seen my childhood. I'm searching for the world. 